Let's simplify the fraction 6 fifths. And here's how you do it. We want to find another fraction that's equivalent. It's equal to 6 over 5, just that we want to reduce or simplify it to lowest terms. What we need to do is find a common factor, something that goes into both 6 and 5. And the only common factor that goes into 6 and 5 is 1. So we divide 6 by 1, we get 6. Divide 5 by 1, we get 5. And that's what we started with. So the fraction 6 fifths, it's already in lowest terms. It's already simplified. It is an improper fraction in that the numerator is larger than the denominator. So you could change it to a mixed fraction. Let's do that. So 5 goes into 6 one time with 1 left over. And then we just bring the 5 across. So 1 and 1 fifth, that's the mixed fraction for 6 fifths. You can check that 1 times 5. That's 5 plus 1 is 6. That's where we get the 6 from. And the 5, that's just brought across. But in answer to our original question, the fraction 6 fifths, you can't reduce this any further. So it's already in simplest terms. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.